Hey everybody, this is Zach here. I would just like to do a small rant on something that happened to me uh, today on Facebook. I was unfriended by uh, one of my contacts, which uh, has been a contact for like multiple years now. And uh, it's a testimony how things that you have kind of for granted, I guess, because it's like a multi-annual connection, so you think it's it's built on something solid because there's this daily following of content and stuff. You have, you have your fair share of opportunities to disconnect, so you, you ne you're never really expecting it to end in such a, an easy way. So, uh, simply put, uh, this is a rant on feminism and how I hate it, basically. Uh, I don't hate the, f the persons that are feminists, necessarily. I hate them as feminists and in what feminism is concerned. And not even totally, but what I would call the bullshit aspect of feminism. Which I'm not saying is little. Okay, it might be 80% of the philosophy, which is bullshit, but nothing is 100% bullshit. It needs to be credible. It's been existing for a while, hasn't it? So, whatever. This was an attack. Attack. I was the target of an attack, a, attack, a vicious attack, I might say, by a, a feminist. And uh, just because I posted an image by, uh, coming from Testosterone Nation's Instagram account, which read something to the likes of, let me see, curves. Overweight women keep using that word. We do not think it means what they think it means. Am I not entitled, I asked you, I submit to you, am I not entitled to have both an aesthetic preference, a totally subjective preference uh, for fit women, or women that are not blatantly overweight or obese, am I not entitled to prefer presumably healthier people, and am I not entitled to have this uh, notion that people who are overweight or obese are presumably and tendentially, if there is such a word, less healthy than people who are uh, muscular, lean, I'm not talking about skinny, because before I posted that a picture on curves, I posted a picture on skinny too, showing that I'm not condoning skinny. The image read something like skinny, weak, frail, sick, malnourished. Skinny is not a goal. Lean, healthy, and strong are goals. Okay, so I believe I didn't really leave any doubts as to where I stand. I stand both against being a fat ass and against being an anorectic, frail, malnourished sickly being. So, yeah, I guess I am uh, calling bullshit on the fat acceptance movement, because this is essential, essentially what it was. It was an attack on uh, a girl. I don't know if she's a girl, even. She, 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 the, the, these people are very complex, you know. They're very complex. This person describes herself as an uh, agender or and the pansexual so she's not asexual, she, she, she presumably likes sex, but um, she's pansexual, so that's not, that's not even bisexual, dude, that, that's, that's more than just being bisexual, you know, she likes a lot more stuff, I'm sorry I didn't read the definition, but pansexual, you know, pansexuality, it's not even about humans, necessarily. And um, she kind of looks like a boy, but she's a girl. She looks like an emo boy, you know? She's a girl who looks like an emo boy who's pansexual and agender. I don't really know 
uh, how it works, especially, uh, specifically. But that is not the case. The case is that such a person, and she's substantially younger than me, less experienced in life. She's around 20, I think. Um, she comes all moralist on me, you know what I'm saying? She's called, she's, she starts by calling me a shithead, then she kind of backs, backs down saying, I'm not labeling you like unequivocally as a shithead, but everybody has his, has his asshole moments, and I believe this was one of those asshole moments on your part. So me defending that when fat people, fat women, uh, describe themselves as some sort of special little pearl because what they have is not nothing sickly, nothing linked to all kinds of diseases and suffering. But what they have is curves, and real men love curves. Who is here to defend the man? love curves, but think that curves is not what the feminist or the fat ass thinks or tries to make you think he, he thinks is all about, you know? What are curves, you know? To the fat ass, it is very convenient that a curve is a bunch of subcutaneous fat, you know, but no, curves can be functional, curves are just the result of a specific anatomy, in this case let's call it the feminine anatomy, like larger hips, you know, covered with, for example, well-developed muscles because she can squat bro and she squats a lot, so it's all tight and round, you know. They're, they're, they're kind of big, they're, they're well developed, you know what I'm saying? And they're, they're very nice on touch, you know? Very pleasant to the touch. They have some fat too, of course, but it's, it's completely different than what we're, what we're talking about. We're talking about a fat ass, like a whale type of female, trying to sell you the idea that she's very desirable. She's no guilty of anything, of any sin against her body, against her health or whatever, or if she is, that doesn't really matter, that has no impact on society, and I was kind of quick to remind this bitch that, yes, it does affect me, I have every right to express my opinion on people, for example, that um, starve themselves to death or that eat themselves to death, or to a very chronic disease, and then you have this national health service that is supposed to take money from A to pay for the health care of B. So that's my business. When you take my money or my parents' money, which I could inherit, right? When you take money from my family, okay, and use it to pay for the lung cancer treatments of the guys who spend their life smoking, or to the gastric bypass surgery, or to the artery and clogging, on and clogging people who eat themselves to death, that's my fucking business. Besides, I have every right to try to use my persuasion, my moral weapons, if you want to call it like that, like Alonzo Five does, the moral weapons of uh, praise, condemnation, reward, and punishment, okay? That I praise somebody for incarnating the values that I think are cool and healthy and positive, etc., and doing the opposite if they don't. That's a very peaceful way of handling things. I'm not trying to bring the state and legislation into the matter, but don't sell me your fucking bullshit, feminist fat ass. Thank you very much. I accept health. A long time before I accept being a sickly, vicious person. Sorry.